if I go through here, this is very useful, right? If I want to go through this, tap, 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 tap. We do that all the time. That will be a lot faster than clicking between field to field. It's also more likely, less likely, that you will skip fields that might need some data input within it. You can say uh, control tab, uh, was it control tab uh, to go back? Shift tab, I'm sorry, shift tab to go backwards. I don't use that one quite as often. If I'm going backwards, I usually go to the mouse, but maybe that one would be faster because usually I'm going forwards and not backwards. I don't fill the form up backwards. And if you want to put something in here, if I'm, I tabbed onto this field and I want to check it, you can hit the space bar. I haven't used that often, but that's actually pretty useful <laughs> if, you, if you're checking things off so that you're tabbing through it and then you don't have to go to the mouse to check that off when you get to that particular field. So I might incorporate that myself. How to choose items in a drop-down list. You can press the tab until you reach the field and then press Alt plus the down arrow to open the list. Press uh, the up arrow or down arrow to move through the items in the list. Press tab to select the item you want to move to the next field. So if you don't want to open the whole list but you want to scroll through the items in the text box, press control plus the down arrow. So in other words, if I tab to a field, I tab to a field here, tab, 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 I'm in the category. Instead of selecting the drop down here, I could select, uh, I can, I can select alt down arrow and then it gives me my items. And then I can scroll down this way. I'm just using my arrows. And once I find what I want, I can select tab, which will select the item. So you can see we can do basically everything there with just the the keyboard without the mouse without having to do this and scroll down most people use the mouse for that still i think mouse is pretty efficient because the scroll bar makes it pretty efficient but if you do it if you're tabbing through it and you and you do everything with just the keyboard that might be a little faster and it's possibly more impressive so if you're doing data input in front of people it might be a way to do <laughs> so how to choose items in a list that has sub items. So type the first few characters of the parent item until it is selected. To jump to the list of sub items, type the first few characters of the sub item until it is selected. Press the Alt plus the down arrow to open the list of sub items, and then press the down arrow or up arrow to scroll through. Press Tab to select. So if we're if we're scrolling down, how to choose the items? We can, we're, if we're in an item here, we can select Alt and Down again. Hold on, let me tab into that item. We're tabbing here and then Alt and Down. And then some of these might have sub items. There's not too many sub accounts. And so, and then we might go Alt Down again to go into the sub accounts. And then when we select something, we can select Tab. So I believe that's similar to what we saw before how to save forms so from any form press alt s instead of clicking save so if you just want to save the form that's these keys down here so instead of saying save and close save and new and then we have the save button if we just want to save it alt s so we can hit the alt s to save it uh, so how to select a transaction type in an account register so in a new yellow transaction row press shift plus tab to select the transaction type field press alt plus down arrow to open the list press the up arrow or down arrow to move uh, through the list or type the first letter of the transaction uh, transaction type that you want if there are two transaction types that begin with the same letter type the letter twice to select the second one and then press tab and then I won't go through that one. How to save or edit a selected transaction. You could press Alt plus save to save, Alt plus shift save in, for Firefox and Chrome. You could press Alt plus the E to edit a saved transaction. So if we wanna, if we wanna go back into a transaction, Alt plus E to edit it. Now you can also enter, open some forms uh, if you wanted to open the forms with the keystrokes. So these are things that can be opened by saying control alt and then the letter. So we can open directly an invoice, a check. So an invoice control alt I, a check controlled alt W, estimate control alt uh, E, an expense control alt X, 
a receive payment control alt r customers control alt c control alt v for vendors chart of accounts a uh, list help uh search and then this exit transaction uh you have the control alt x and cancel out save and new and save and close so let's just check a few of those out so again most of these are pretty easily found in the drop down with an invoice but if you're doing like invoices all the time and you're somewhere in some other screen it might be a little faster to say the control alt i for an invoice so there's an invoice we could say control alt w and that's going to give us then the check form not the expense but check form control alt x is the expense form so if i say control alt x we've got the expense form boom and then the receive payment form control alt r for the receive payment form and then we've got uh the customers if i go control alt c that takes me into my customers that might be a kind of a useful shortcut because that one's a little bit more buried we go down here to the sales and then to the customers right so you, and if you work in the vendors all the time control alt v will take you to your vendors and your expenses and then in your vendors that might be a useful shortcut if you go in there a lot control alt a takes you to your chart of accounts that could be a useful uh shortcut because the chart of accounts is a little buried uh in there you could find it in a couple different places but uh that might be useful if you're going to the chart of accounts all the times control alt i will take you to your lists so uh i'm sorry control control alt l will take you to your lists so that that was pretty easy to find up top in your lists up top but again might be a little bit faster so those are some of the major uh, keyboard shortcuts that you can test out and see which of them are most useful for you. Again, it takes a little bit of time, of course, to learn uh, the keyboard shortcuts. So it might be dependent upon what area of accounting or bookkeeping that you're working in most often as to whether or not or which shortcuts will be most applicable. Although some shortcuts uh, that keyboard functions, I think, are going to be useful for everyone such as of course the tab feature tabbing through reports and uh that that i think in in the plus and both plus and minus things to increase or decrease uh the date in some fields and possibly the calculator those are things i think everybody uh would would want to utilize some of the other shortcuts you have to decide whether or not it's worth your time to memorize the added uh the added shortcuts which of course does take some repetition to then make it part of your routine.